Hey everybody, ShotDoc51 here, and it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. And so I would just like to start out by saying, yeah, it's been a very, very busy summer for me. I know you guys haven't seen me much, but today I would actually like to talk to you guys about PAX West and what I experienced when I was there. Uh, got some stuff while I was there as well. So I'd like to go ahead and talk about that today. So I'm going to start by saying that PAX West was 2022 was what I expected and what I mean by that is I wasn't actually expecting a whole lot uh this year I uh, wasn't expecting to be you know back to full venue like they have been uh before COVID and you know what that was actually fine uh I actually got to s uh, see a lot of different things than I normally would do uh got to do some different things that I normally don't do so that was kind of the, uh, kind of the, probably one of the best things about it besides, you know, being there with some friends and some family members too, hanging out, having a good time. Um, major, uh, the major thing that I looked at was indie games, uh, cause there actually was not a whole lot of big name companies there, uh, this year, hopefully next year they'll be back. But yeah, definitely the indie games were the ones that I, uh, took a hard look at uh, walking around, demoing some games. Um, definitely some would catch my eye. Some I'm kind of like, hmm, we'll see. Some I'm like, eh, I mean, that's not really my type. But yeah, it was it was certainly a great experience. I'm sorry I keep looking over to the right. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it was about, like I said, about what I expected. Anybody, anybody else who probably went, uh, probably the same thing. Like literally, I could have done everything I wanted to do in like the first two days. Uh, I was there actually all four days, and, and you know, I kind of branched it out a bit so that way, you know, I wasn't doing everything, so I had something back to come back to. Um, like yeah, literally, it's funny because like the first day on Friday, there wasn't a whole lot of crowd, which was kind of nice. You could get in the line just fine, not wait long. I don't even think I saw like a capped line like all day maybe uh that day. Saturday of course was the busiest day. It was really packed. Uh the expo hall was very, very jammed. We actually got to the point where I was like, oh, okay, you know what? Time to go hit up like, you know, tabletop or go check out something else or just head out for the day because it just got well packed. And then yeah, Sunday, Monday it kinda went back it went back down a bit more, so we got to try out some stuff. Um only went to like one after party. We looked at some other ones. None of them really caught our eye or we didn't know about. But we went to one. I was created by um, Asus or Asus, depending on how you like to say it. They had a nice little venue there. And I actually want to show this right here. So what they gave away for us was one of these. And you're probably like, what is that? Well, it's a coaster. So it's actually a rubber kind of coaster. So it's flexible, which is nice. But on the back, it has a bottle opener. So that is actually really cool. And actually, this actually works because uh, the coaster I had here was just like a little cardboard piece cut out that I've been using for ever. And it was finally starting to get part where it's starting to be like peel apart on the card. So I'm like, sweet, that just replaced that. And a bottle opener. So that way, if I ever bring in a drink and I forget to open it, I can right off. Um, I guess I'll just show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got. Not a whole lot. Some stuff I actually ended up buying. Uh, just because I do have a couple shirts, um, but I'm actually, they're hanging up to dry right now because uh, they're 100% cotton, so I didn't want to dry them. Um, so, I, obviously I'll start with some of the kind of not so cool stuff. So, Lanyards uh, from Divinity Fallen Heroes. I think that's their new DLC or maybe the new game from Lanyard Studio, from um, Lauren Studios, excuse me. So, yeah, pretty cool. You always get a bunch of these all the time. Uh, your typical packs, lanyard, you know, just a simple lanyard this year, just a gray, which is the word pack. I'm sorry they actually don't have the year on this one. I think they usually do. And then the other one from them is t as well, uh, so it's from their Baldur Gate 3, which um, I'll talk about. This one's actually kind of cool looking. I know you can't really see it really well. I apologize. I apologize that the quality of this video is not probably really good or anything, so... Anyway, um, let's see, this one I haven't opened. Uh, so, oh, this is from the. Uh, so, this is actually one thing I wanted to talk about. I was uh, really surprised 
to find other uh, computer accessory companies out there that I've never even heard of. So they must have just started up over COVID or they were just small and now they're just now getting out or whatever. But yeah, one of these guys, and I was actually trying to win a monitor of them, but uh, just a little band um, from uh, Sept uh, Septri, Septri, I think is what they call them. And yeah, really cool people. Um, they had an amazing, nice uh, wide monitor that I actually played Battlefield 5 on. Looked very, very nice. So I ended up getting one of these from them for testing that out and tried to, like I said, enter the giveaway. Unfortunately, I was one off, not on the monitor, but like something else I can't remember. Um, next up, I have some pins that I got too. I got, I never did try this one, uh, Russell Quest. I'll throw that up there. These will be all going on a lander adventure. I like to do that. I never did get to play that one. Uh, this one I bought because mostly I'm a fan and it's turned sideways inside. It's still in the packaging. Uh, since I'm a big Mass Effect fan, I got the Blood Pack logo. I used to have this shirt, but it got ended up getting way too small for me. So I ended up having to just donate it away. I almost did buy another one. They actually had the same one. I almost bought it back. Uh, these ones I have not seen. These are from the Company of Heroes 3 team. So come in these just little cardboard packs. Uh, they were, I ended up just giving these away at the end. So let's see what we got here. So, okay, got one from like, it looks like the uh, Company of Heroes dev team. Kind of cool, a low. And one other one here that we got. Um, oh yeah, just the call, uh, I keep wanting to say like Call of Duty, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but here's the other one too, kind of cool too. Very, very simple pins, which is kind of nice. So like I said, those are all I got right now. Like I said, I got a couple shirts. And uh, I got my roommate a Deadpool <laughs> umbrella that I bought for him. Um, oh, also there is a... You'll see me when I stream it or probably in some other video. But I have a PlayStation hat that I bought. I've um, been looking to get one just to have. So I have one of those. Uh, I won't get up and get it. Uh, just to save time. So there's that. Uh, so next up. Games. I'm actually going to do these separate, but I'm just going to show you some games that like I picked up that I thought were really interesting. But I was going to do a review on what I thought about these games as I tried them. I'm, like I said, this will be either one video or probably just separate ones, so that way they're all clunks. So um, this and what? Um, so I have these uh, these cards that they gave cards or a little bit bigger cards that they give you. So first one of them was Galahad uh, thirty. 93 so really good uh good game it's a mech kind of like a mech warrior armor core game if you're playing anything like those so what i'm going to do is actually throw up the barcode here i don't know if you will be able to but uh you can try to scan that if you want to so it'll take you right to it and like i said there's the name the quality i apologize not all that great this one i did not get to play astro ghost uh looked really fun it looked like it was a uh like kind of like a Zelda type world almost um, open world uh, hack and slash kind of game. I only got to see some gameplay with it, but I'm gonna look up this one uh, for when I do my review because, like I said, uh, I have some friends play that and just walking by playing it looked really awesome. All right, almost done here. Um, I'll get back. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do that later. Uh, next up, I didn't, I didn't get to play this one either. Um. Expedition R uh, Argath. Um, oh, this one again. I'll have to look up more. I didn't get to play this one. So if you want to check out that one, there is that one right there. Next up, we have a really cool one that I'm probably gonna get into called Turbo Overkill, first-person shooter, kind of like if like what Doom would ever be. A uh, very fun type of game. So hopefully you can check that out. There they are right there. Oop. I don't know if uh, QR code's there if you guys want to. Doesn't look like it's going to focus in on trying to focus too many things. So anyway, yeah. Uh, Turbo Overkill, one I would check out. Uh, Phantom Brigade, another one I never got to try. Looks kind of fun. Uh, looks like a little mech game as well. 
There's that one. It, I do opposite way there. Shock. So I'll just, just try out that one. Um, industrial Industries of Titan. Another one I only got to watch from a distance. Never got around to play. So like I said, I'll do a review on that one if you want to check that one out. But these are all ones that I'm just throwing up. Like I said, I found. Um, there's some other ones that I got bookmarked. This one looks like it's going to be <laughs> like the next Gang Beast uh, kind of game. It's called Bear Butt Boxing. <laughs> it looks really fun. It literally looks like Gang Beast, but, you know, boxing type of thing. This one looks like it will be fun, you know, for any of you guys like looking for party or game and stuff. Um, zombie type of game. Zombie Survival uh waves uh dead fury uh nice little fast paced game uh definitely gotta keep you on your toes it looks like it still needed some work uh i did enjoy it but uh there's definitely i remember some aspects of this one i'm like okay we need to add some stuff to it but basically you get stuck in um some uh a closed off area and yeah you gotta survive the ways of uh zombies so there's that one as well like i said called dead fury oh so, yeah well, that's all I got for that. Um, like I said, just wanted to make a nice little short video here. I'll talk about more about some of these other games too that I probably didn't share that are on my list. And I will uh, let you guys know how those turn out. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know. Hopefully, uh, going to next year, we'll have some more into uh, uh, more packs. We'll be back up, you know, try to get back to that full venue, have the big companies back, have some more of everything so yeah i mean that's something to look forward to anyway guys thank you all very much make sure you guys check out uh, me on twitch as uh, i stream on there about three to four days a week uh like and subscribe on youtube um on tiktok on the social medias on facebook and on twitter so yeah thank you guys all very much i uh, appreciate it i'll talk to you later bye